Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ballet at Brand. So as you can see in the bottom right here, it says always verify and never trust. And there's a saying that's like trust, but verify things like that. And for me, I'm here to say that just like the term assume, right? Uh, assuming makes an ass out of you and me. I always recommend that people don't just take someone's word for something and don't take their uh, their claim to be true and then to use that as evidence to base your opinions. Uh, here, here's why I say this. So in the community that I'm involved in, I was just slandered and uh, wrongfully so. I I woke up this morning seeing a whole bunch of at notifications. I said, oh, okay, I'm not in this you know trading chat room very much, but let me click on it. And then all of a sudden, it's uh, it's a person accusing me with no evidence, mind you, but accusing me of absolutely dumping the price and, and dumping the asset that we're all in together. And so I see all these different at notifications and I just click through them because it goes numerically, you know, one by one. And uh, I see a whole bunch of people jumping on and saying, oh, you know, that's terrible. You know, Ballet Brand, he's a, you know, a so-called influencer and OG, but you know, he's stabbing people in the back when he's claiming that he's a, an arbiter of truth and, you know, someone that's like a hypocrite. And so long story short, I, uh, I get to the source of the message of, you know, the main point of slander, the thing that rolled that snowball down the hill and the actual evidence itself that they had provided for their outrageous claim had nothing to do with me whatsoever. And it goes to show you just like you see in this this cancel culture, if uh, you know if if someone's falsely accused of rape or falsely accused of murder, you've seen that in where people in prisons uh, get falsely accused of murder, and then you know maybe they'll get like the death penalty, and then they'll find out after the person's already dead or after the person already had their life destroyed from the false allegation that hey, guess what? Turned out it was a false allegation, and who knows? I'm not getting conspiratorial, but who knows if it was specifically done as like a psyop, like a psychological operation to try and once again, take something that's strong, take something that's got like a bond, like a, like a link like this, this is how it's like, and then try and break the, the fabric of the glue that makes Hex and Pulse and SciVive and what I'm doing so strong and what everyone else is doing in the community so strong as well. So luckily it's now dispelled, right? The, uh, the drama and, and the rumors are, um, are, are put aside and, and they've got actual facts that I've showed them that, uh, that what the claim was was actually not true. But once again, it's, it's really important. I don't care what community you're in. You want to be um, a leader by example and you want to call out bullshit when you see bullshit because any sort of like tribalism and maximalism and things like this can really lead not only down a uh, not only down a bad path, but specifically when that path is already you know something that people are heading on, and then you're falsely accused. So I just want people to once again, I don't care if it's your parents, I don't care if it's your you know if you're really religious, I don't care if it's like your you know your preacher or whoever you know you know of the, of the church and stuff. I don't care about any of that. You should always verify and never trust. Never. You know, I don't care if it's what I don't care if it's the person that you hold most closely to your heart that you trust them and stuff. Uh, we find out that history can uh, can always show the proof, but sometimes you find out that you just blindly trusted someone because they're liable or they've got a track record in history. And then it turns out that the one thing that you trust them on, sometimes, I'm not saying in all times, but Sometimes the one thing that you can trust someone on ends up being the fall for something that had no evidence whatsoever. So once again, this isn't too long of a video. Uh, the whole point is uh, always verify, never trust, and, and take people's claims as just that, claims or opinions, and then verify that information yourself because that is actually how I found Richard Hart. But someone was slandering him and it was someone, once again, in a different community than what Richard's Bitcoin maximalist community uh, was at the time. 
and it was someone else that was tarnishing his reputation. They were, you know, defaming him as a person. And for someone like myself that have always just been curious about verifying and never trusting, I had went to go do the research on Richard Hart. And turns out four and a half years later, I'm still here uh, following him and listening to the information and knowledge that he puts out. Because once again, I was able to verify that this guy was legitimate. You know, people had made false claims against him and he personally doxed himself because other people were threatening to dox him and tarnish his reputation. So he said, screw that. You know, you guys are trying to blackmail me by, by doxing me. Well, F you guys, I'm going to dox myself because he wanted it to come from him. And he's got, just like I do, such a, uh, you know, such a strong, you know, sense of, of being legitimate and, and being who you say you are, because you can, you can build up a reputation that takes years and decades to build up, right? And only one fuck up for that shit to just be completely tarnished and for that reputation now to be destroyed. And someone like myself understands that. Someone like Richard Hart understands that as well. And a lot of people that are very genuine and that understand that kind of principle. So once again, always I recommend people verify, never trust, because you might just be jumping on to something and like gaslighting, right? You're, you're throwing more gas on the fire. And then when you find out that the you know, original poster or the original person saying the claim, when you find out that that, that thing ends up being wrong, well, now you just participated, you know, you're almost like an accomplice. Now you participated in what they were doing because you didn't take the time to verify yourself, but you just believed what someone else said and just jumped onto it. Okay, so that's the lesson I have for this video and uh, it'll serve you wise in uh, many different aspects of life.